Okay, this is the uh, M38A1. And one of the first things I did was start my archaeological survey here. And I think I determined that this is U.S. Army 2098. The reason that's an 8, it's a round. These are oval. There's a 1 in here. Zero nine three. Now what's super interesting are these yellow ones. It looks like WT two six six five. But th this yellow is on a deeper plane than this green and this white. So that's when you do this, I'm doing it with a razor blade, and I know it's crude. It's like, I feel for archaeologists because you have to destroy some things to get to some things. And sit here and just peel away at this ever so, and stay at that level, and don't go down into the next level. That's the way I've been doing it. And there's my S, so it's not the Polish army. But when I first, this is the first I saw was the yellow. And over here, there's some yellow here. There's a piece here, something here. This looks like an upside down U from so far. It could be, I don't know, one one or it looks like an upside down U dash. Looks like R E G seven five eight. And I don't know. Three, four, nine. So crazy because the Marine Corps used yellow, but that's deeper than this U.S. Army. That's unbelievable. So I'm just taking my time. You know, I could do the whole hood and spray it clear on it. I might do that. Or at least save this block out here and well the yellows. Anyway, a lot of work. It's definitely a, a uh, labor of love. And then every now and then you scratch too deep. Yeah, like I did in this area here. Yeah, here, here. Then you have to back off. It's Oh yeah, it's been hours so far. But I have successfully determined that this is 20981093. Uh, I really can't believe it. I didn't think it would be that good. Alright, more later.